are probably gonna die because I bet in the bad ending we die. <laughs> in his route because us. well, because I'm betting that by taking the bad ending, you know, he's not gonna die for us like Raphael would have. So I'm betting that we get to the end of this and we die. Alright. Well, now that there's a record of that, it's because I hit the start button. Well, you can always delete that out if you want to. I could, or it might be interesting. Anyway. Okay, so, so in hey any guys. case, hi guys. Um, <laughs> we may or may not, yeah, that. Okay, let's, let's just, just go start. with it. <laughs> yeah, all Last right. Last time, we uh, made Alvin hate us, yes. and that basically covers that. <laughs> So, we get bad route, yes? Let's see. It took me some time, but at last, dinner is ready. Nathaniel's kitchen doesn't include a ready-made curry powder or gar um. garam masala, but there are plenty of other spices that could be mixed together. Let's make it obvious that I don't cook by pronouncing mispronouncing <laughs> words. I think it's more interesting anyway. Hmm. She said she wasn't a very good cook, and I don't really trust that somebody who doesn't cook very well, um, can just mix spices and haphazardly. <laughs> My mom, she shouldn't improvise in the kitchen. She does, but she shouldn't. Oops. I also shouldn't improvise in the kitchen. I don't, <laughs> and I shouldn't. I stick to, like, things and packages with specific instructions. As much as possible. Yes. Cooking is a bit like chemistry, except you're not supposed to make things explode, except you're not supposed to do that in actual chemistry if, you know, you want to actually get a good grade. Yeah. And, yeah, know, I'm concerned about her chemistry. <laughs> what kind of chemistry are you doing? The chemistry of bombs? Like, come on, honey. Yeah. Good chutney is beyond me, though. Even if the right ingredients had been here. Here. Yeah. So that limits what dishes I can present well. My father would say that a good dinner party should have many different dishes available so the guests can try a little of everything until they find something they like. If you serve only one dish and someone doesn't like it, it's a problem. Of course, my father, if my father were holding a dinner party, he'd just have it catered and then it, it's easy to have a wide selection. Both my parents can cook, but if they had guests to impress, they'd be busy doing other th things than the food. Anyway... What I've ended up with is spiced potatoes, vegetable, vegetable birani, and sweet fried bread. Nothing too outrageous. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Is it done yet? I'm starved. Yes, come in. Come on in. The boys will turn in and take their seats. Well, Alvin shows up, which... I mean, he needs food. Well, if I had been him, mm-mm. Oh, Oh. I would have starved before I came to see her again. Oh. Lens tilts his head curiously, drawing in a long, slow breath of air through his nose and holding it for a few moments before exhaling. All right. Hmm. He doesn't say anything, and he doesn't say anything more. Thank you very much for preparing all this for us. Oh, Raphael, you're such a sweetheart. Even though I'm not sure I would eat any of the things that she's prepared. <laughs> Wait until you eat it before you say that. I know I'm not a bad cook, but I don't know what they like either. Anyway, help yourselves. There should be enough. I dish some onto my own plate without waiting for anyone else. I'm hungry. The others follow suit a little more cautiously in some cases. Where's the meat? I'm sorry, I don't cook with meat. He glowers at me. Like, this is a personal insult. He's still angry about earlier. I'm sure it will be fine. The meal progresses quietly for a bit as everyone samples the food. Despite what he said earlier, I'm not sure Nathaniel is enjoying the meal. He doesn't seem to be eating very much. But then, I haven't been watching closely how he eats before. Maybe I'm just paranoid. Lens isn't eating very much either. He chews each bite with slow deliberation. And he's probably distracted. This is great! 
Yay! So I love my oh, sister. Bradley, thank you. You said it last time, too, but we do appreciate it. We really do, especially after the last scene. So I'm kind of upset. <laughs> it's going to be okay, Callie. <laughs> Don't talk with your mouth full. He just grins at me. So, um, how's the procedure going? Because things are now awkward and I want to get out of here as quickly as possible. <laughs> what? The thing with the force field to overload it? Yes, that. He sets his fork on his plate. Everything's proceeding according to schedule. The stored charge continues to increase. It's hard to imagine needing so much power that it would take days to build up charge. Short circuits burn out very quickly. They also have a distinct tendency to explode. Yay! More fun stuff to think about! I don't feel like I've seen this before. Was this in the last route? Don't think so. Huh. Which might be entertaining to watch from outside the house. Except you're inside the house. You know, I bet that, you know, we did gain a little bit of affinity with him. Like, he doesn't hate us. So maybe even though we're not on his route, he's still more willing to, like, talk to us. Huh. Because last time he hated us. He yes. hated our guts. Oh, yes. Because we he said wanted us all, to burn of, all of the wrong things were said to him. <laughs> he wanted us to die. Yes. In a blazing fire. Burn for eternity. <laughs> yes. He, if he had thought that setting us through that barrier would have set us on fire, he would have been throwing us through it. <laughs> Even for you, that would be an expensive disaster. <laughs> Certainly, I myself am irreplaceable. At least until you find a way to copy yourself. Uh, he's working on that? Apparently. Are we surprised? No. Not really. He did admit to having a colossal ego. Yes. Can you do that in this universe? Not yet. He's probably seriously trying. It's like, I'm going to live forever. It's by copying myself over and over and over again. <laughs> and thank goodness for that. <laughs> I know it's too soon for, for you to know, but if you do end up remaining here, do you have any ideas of what you want to do with your future? Now, I wonder if this changes, because she didn't have a conversation about school. Yeah, I don't... Well, I was thinking about becoming a doctor, but I don't know. I have an awful lot to learn about how things work here. You might also be able to discover future advances that you already know about. Isn't that cheating? Would you rather keep the information secret and let lives be lost needlessly? No, of course not. I can see it now. Dr. Bhaskar charges to the rescue, heroically performing unknown procedures on dying patients over the process of shock to workers because there's no time to explain when lives are at stake. My parents would be so proud. I just want to be the person that's like, you know, just because you know that a procedure exists, if you've never done it before, that doesn't mean you could do it. Like, I know about plenty of procedures that exist now that didn't exist in the 80s that I wouldn't be able to do anything about them. Yeah, like... Knowing they exist does nothing if you can't do them. If I've never done them, nothing. Right. Hmm. So don't think you're gonna, like, heroically rush in there. You're not a doctor. You're not a surgeon. <laughs> you wouldn't know. Well, I mean, she might be able to figure out she probably has, like, a basic sort of knowledge that maybe they didn't have, like, as far as, like, anatomy and stuff like that goes. So she might be able to sort of figure out things if she were studying to become a doctor, but... but... Rushing to the rescue, like, I am just gonna rush in here and just start making cuts and stuff. No. Like, no, you, you would can't... have to train. You would have to learn how to do that, which means they wouldn't be unknown procedures because you'd probably have other people working with you. I'm sorry. I think that she is... A little bit um, misguided here. Yes. Right. Except that they would never know. In their hearts, they would. It's kind of you to say that. In their hearts, they'll, they'd probably believe I was murdered. They surely wouldn't believe I ran away. Not after last year. I've been making the best of things. I haven't given up. And she never explained what happened the last year. True ending? Maybe. Ah, now I want to know. Well, good thing we're rushing through this, then. 
We've got a while, but anyway. And if I had just run off, I'm not sure they'd be happy to see me back. Hey, Janet, is there any dessert? I didn't make any, but there's still plenty of ice cream in the freezer. Yay, stuff that would kill me. That'll do. You have that. Well, at least one person thinks my dinner was a success. Unless he's trying to get your dinner's taste out of his mouth now. <laughs> he could have said it's great, but... That's true, because Bradley, despite the fact that, you know, he's a little crazy psycho bunker, he actually is one of the nicer characters. He is. So anyway. We're going to end it here for today. Thank um, you all so much for watching. Bye, guys.